He say, she say, we say, I say Hearing out them points of views when I see it my way Yes it goes, yes it knows, maybe so Hello everyone, I am coming to bear some bad news It seems like the Spitting Fire channel is now going to be the bearer of bad news Okay, I do not want this to become the obituary channel, I definitely don't But it seems that Ricky uh, life, Smiley has life lost come with a whole Let's bunch a of Twist and turns. I don't care where you go or what. I just don't know what to do. I can't, <laughs> can't think. Do I got my keys? I took a bath. Make sure my, um, I'm on my way to um, home. I can't. <sighs> just can't think straight. I don't know. So, y'all be blessed, and um, I'm sorry to announce this to y'all. Just pray, tra tra traveling grace and everything. Wow. Now I see what my granddaddy went through and why he felt the way he felt. My granddaddy went through this shit with my dad. And somehow, here I am going through the same thing my grandparents went through. So just pray for our family. Hey, um, I just have to, um, uh, Just have bad news this morning. I'm uh, I'm on my way to the airport to get to Birmingham. Um, I just want everybody to pray for me. Uh, pray for our family. Uh, my son, uh, Brandon Smiley, has passed away this morning. I'm about to go get on a flight and try to and try to get to Birmingham. Uh, Vicky, good morning. Um, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Just, uh, I just wanna, want um, all our cousins and, and different family members to pray, be strong, uh, I'm okay. Uh, pray for my son's mother and my son's uh, siblings. Pray for my my son and my daughter Everybody that was raised with Brandon, pray for Brandon's mother, uh, Brenda and, and his dad, uh, Taurus, and, and his sister Taylor. And um and everybody. Um I hate to announce this. Uh, I just want to give it to you before you hear it in the streets. Um my son Brandon Smiley passed away this morning. I'm on my way to the um Okay, so we had just heard Ricky Smiley um, speak on his uh, son's passing. Prayers, okay, um, goes out to uh, the Smiley family uh, during this hard time. I re re um, losing a child um, could be the most de is the most devastating thing a parent uh, could could go through I, I i never ever uh ever want to experience that i've i never want to experience losing a child i don't want uh to bury my child i would rather for my child to bury me um because i i believe that that that's how um uh it's supposed to be you know what I mean I, I believe intentionally that's how it's supposed to be now realistically it doesn't always work that way today I mean I've seen so many uh, young souls lost okay uh, it, so many young souls lost um, timelessly you know what I mean 
timelessly and, and it, it is it it, it, it it breaks my heart to to uh you know for this man to lose his son it, it really breaks my heart it breaks my heart to any uh parent who lost their son you you, you get what i'm saying and and that's one of the things that i want to talk to you about see death is an inevitable you know we we can't we can't change the outcome of life. We don't know what the cards life is going to do. We don't know if tomorrow's not promised to neither one of us. It's not promised to me. I'm having health issues as I speak. Um, I can just pray that God grant me an extension of life and, and my family and everyone else. But I do have to speak on some things in, 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 in when it comes to death, I really do have to speak on some things. And I spoke and did a lot of commentary on Ricky Smiley when it pertains to the R. Kelly situation uh, when I was doing it here over here on Spin Fire before it changed over to the mill. And and see, everybody that's a man uh, is the son of someone, whether it's death or whether they're in jail. You know what I mean? And so... We have to give our men benefits of the doubt. And when you crucify someone without even hearing their stay, you know what I mean? These can be karmas that come back on you. And this is unfortunate. I, I, I think I did a com commentary last year when one of the accusers lost their sons or whatever. And I'm like, this, is, this stuff has got to stop. We have to stop being... Uh, the karma of each other. So even though that doesn't mean that this is his karma because of what he said about R. Kelly, but it could be. We don't know. But what it is is you have a lot more uh, sympathy and empathy from people, even that particular people during these hard times like this, and, and they can they can reach out to you and pray for you. You know what I mean? But when you pray for the downfall of someone's life and, and they freedom and everything was taken. This, this is some of the things that we just really need to take heed to as a black man. This is about cultural obligation as well. This is about, okay, we got to stop helping each other go to jail. We got to start giving men the benefit of the doubt. And we also got to start, and when the inevitable happened like this, we got to start always being there for someone. And I, I didn't want to come off as a karma uh, commentary, but it, 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 it could be, we never know because it wouldn't feel like it's karma had everyone joined forces together. And that's just all I'm saying. So, uh, yes, um, prayers out to the smiley family, um, for the loss of his oldest son, uh, Brandon, who passed away at the age of 32, a life gone so soon. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in fire out.